realistically with this team, you know, I'll ask you a couple questions. You know, do you feel like they got better? And what are your expectations for this team uh, in 2023? Uh, did we get better? We added Hargrave, who was probably the best interior alignment available in the entire NFL. So that alone is 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 a, is an improvement in personnel, right? For as far as the defensive line. Now, D'Amico Ryan's got a head coaching job, and we all are very familiar with how good he is. The, the thing that gives me solace is the fact that Steve Wilkes is one hell of a defensive coordinator, and he was damn close to keeping the job as the head coach in Carolina. And that's 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 from like people that I know in Carolina, like the, the homies were like, "Yo, like they really thought that he might have been had like a legit chance of keeping that gig." Um, I, I love the hire of Steve Wilkes. Did we get better? Absolutely, we got better. The thing is, is that you can't we, you can't make that dissemination of facts until they get out on the field and prove it. We lost some, we lost some in the defensive backfield. Uh, I think our pass rush rotation will be right there. Obviously, losing Omenu, who who I think will have an amazing presence for the uh, for the Chiefs. I, I loved his game, uh, but listen, pass rush rotation, offensive line, offensive weapons. The only question mark is the defensive backfield. But with our front seven being as dominant as it, as it has been the last couple of years, you don't need superstars in the back end. You need guys who aren't going to get scorched and dudes who can tackle. And I think that, uh, you know, through OTAs, through preseason, we'll have the right mix. And again, as long as Bosa's is coming off the edge and as long as Fred Warner's there to clean stuff up and Drake Greenlaw's on the field, I believe we're uh, at the – Base minimum, the four, 11 wins. I do think I do think in the division that Seattle's gotten better. Um, i never seen a team recoup draft picks quite like them. They, they gave them all up for Adams, got them all back for, for Russell, Russell Wilson. Never seen anything like that in my life. Um, the Rams, I mean. Well, I didn't need some of that magic, man. Facts. Who's to know with the Rams? Um, obviously, you'd like to believe if Cooper Cup and, and, and Aaron Donald were both on the field that they're going to they're gonna yield better results. As and Matthew Stafford, who, who was hurt. Absolutely. So that, that's, that's major. Even though we do own them in the regular season, they're going to continue to tell us that they beat us in the playoffs. I'm going to just c- pretend like that never happened. Like Will Smith is next to me. Um, so like, other than that, like I said, I think we're in a great place. Uh, the front seven defensively amazing. The only question mark is who's going to be the starting quarterback. Not if we're going to have a starting quarterback, it's who it's going to be. I think all three options are, are viable and just fine. As long as they play within the confines of the offense that, that, that Kyle Shanahan puts out there. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, I 11 wins as the floor, given something catastrophic as far as the health of a, of, of, of a major playmaker or like, you know what I mean? But I just, the, the ta- it's just too much talent. And then Arizona being so unbelievably terrible and there being, there being a very low influx of talent throughout the conference. I mean, if we look at the NFC as a whole, it, it's San Francisco and Philly. And I'm not going to lie. Like the, it's usually there's like, you know, the drop off of talent isn't like vast in the NFL. It's usually like the, 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 ta- the talent gap is a lot closer. I think those two teams, as far as a talent gap across the board, they're visibly the two best teams. I think, I think Dallas is a lot better than people think too. But as far as we go again, I outside of working out who's going to be in the defensive backfield outside of Traverius Ward and Hafanga, I don't, I don't see too many glaring weaknesses with this roster. And I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but it's we, we're going to play a physical style of, of football. We're going to try to dominate the line of scrimmage, and we're going to go out and play 49er football. It hasn't been like smoke and mirrors the last couple of years. It's, pretty, it's been pretty clear what our objective is, and, and as long as we execute it, it's been the same thing. It's a level of power run game, the zone game, and then we, we – we, might go 13 plays from the same formation and, and all 13 plays be, be completely different. That's Kyle Shanahan. People are going to ask me to go through, because this is going to happen. They're going to ask you to go through the schedule game by game. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I got us going undefeated. Why? Because I can't prognosticate or watch a game on paper and say we're going to lose it. That's how good we are. That's how talented we are. It's like, and bro, what do you win? Like 11 straight, 12 straight at one point last year? Like, right, yeah. what did you expect me to say? We're going to win. Like, you know, that's that. Like, so before the season, they're like, how do you see the team? I was like, we're going to win at least 12 or 13 games. Why? Because the talent's there. But don't ask me how good I think we're going to be. On paper, I think we should beat everybody. I think right. there's, if you look at the team on paper, we should beat everybody. We should go 17 and 0. That's not going to happen. 
But I, I mean, look, if you look at the paper, we damn sure look like we were, like we should be that. 49ers team. are likely be the favorites in 95% of the games. And why wouldn't they, right? They, they covered in 10 straight games last year as favorites. Do you know how hard that is to do? <laughs> you know how hard that, you know how difficult it is to cover 10 times when you're a favorite? You know how many times the Kansas City Chiefs covered last year as favorites? Four. And they won the title. We covered 10 times as favorites, straight. That's insane from a betting standpoint. You could have bet your money every week for 10 weeks straight that whatever number Vegas gave you, the 49ers were good money. With a third-string quarterback, that's insane. That's insane. So they, why wouldn't you bet on them? They, they come through more than any team as a favorite. Now, obviously, a couple of teams covered more as dogs, like Atlanta. Like Atlanta did a really good job for us a coverage standpoint, but – with us, again, man, the talent, we, we have so much talent on both sides of the ball, it would take something crazy to, uh, to, to, to really have me thinking, man, we're not that good or we, we have issues. You know what I mean? That's all.